We want to analyze effect of SLE. Okay. And we use aspirin in the lecture note. But now exposure variable is SLE. And outcome of interest is coronary calcification. And yes, and the presence of absence of coronary calcification. Okay, and then we have many potential confounding variable age. Uh, hypertension, smoking, and um, factors so now instead of adjusting these variable as a covariate and what we are going to do is we create propensity score okay, and as a function of these variable to SLE to predict likelihood of having SLE okay? and then use inverse of propensity score as weighting method. I hope you already saw a video on how to create the propensity score and we are starting uh, to create the weighting variable in this video. Okay? And then finally, at the final analysis, we will go back to the final analysis and conduct weighted logistic regression to assess effect of SLE on classification and with uh, using inverse of propensity score method. This is another method of using propensity score. So we go to SPSS and uh, we already created propensity score as predicted probability of SLE given potential confounders. And in the previous video, we talked about how to adjust propensity score as a model covariate. But instead, in this video, and I will show you how to create inverse propensity score weighting and then use uh, this another method of propensity score for analysis. And so uh, let's create inverse propensity score uh, weight. So go to compute variable. I call it IPW. IPW would be inverse of propensity score, which is a predicted probability for the given exposure. So uh, for patient and who are exposed, and it will be one over propensity score. Okay. So in this case, patient with SLE and uh, IPW will be 1 over propensity score and then so let's click OK okay so this created um, IPW is created now for SLE patient and then uh, we will do the same thing and this time for non SLE patient so for non SLE patient and this would be 1 minus propensity score because these people are not exports so we need to compute 1 over probability of non-exports um, non-exports so that's 1 minus propensity score and so you click um, condition SLE equals 0 so if SLE equals 0 then it would be 1 over 1 minus propensity score and then click OK. Okay, so let's check histogram for inverse weight and to make sure we don't have outlier of weight. So click on histogram and then put this on. So we have a um, large inverse propensity score weight, and so um, you may trim these largest a number as uh, people use one percentile or five percentile uh, values uh, and they will trim it and then uh, put their value same as highest and untrimmed value okay, let's trim it then so for SLE uh, so let's look go to frequency and click OK and based on this let's see um, we have a small sample size so let's use one percentile then um, and so we are going to trim the value greater than uh, 5 then and so to do that and we will replace with a largest number among untrimmed values so 4.74 and we are going to replace these two uh, weight with 
4.7. So we are converting if the IPW is greater than 5 to the highest value among untrimmed value, which is 4.74. Okay. So click continue and OK. So let's check frequency now. And highest value is 4.74. So we trimmed um, to outlier weight. And then, okay, and we will do weighted logistic regression. And so what it does is, okay, so if you go back to working data set, and each row is weighted by this IPW. So this row will be counted as 1.83 people. And this row is counted as okay, data around 4.74 people. Okay. And this row is considered and data is coming, data are coming from 1.53 people. Okay. So why we are doing that? And let's say uh, this person's propensity score is 80%. And this person is SLE. This is a person who is very likely to have SLE and had SLE. Okay. So therefore, we don't weight uh, those observations largely compared to person. Okay. This is a person who is SLE and but less likely to be SLE. So this is a person. Um, so inverse of this propensity score is larger. Okay. And then uh, we know this is unlike unlikely setup. So we are under sampling this population. And therefore, we are considering uh, more patients as more patients are coming from this population. So we wait as 4.74. We count this line as data coming from 4.74 people. Right? So essentially, we are doing, we are waiting, we're doing a waiting. And we saw in the lecture note here. Okay. And so we know um, these patients, so the whose propensity score is 0 0.2, and then had SLE, and data are much sparse than these. And therefore, we are waiting with more weight on this gray area of population. Okay, so that's what uh, we are doing now. So we wait with IPW. Okay, and then I'll go back to logistic regression and perform regular logistic regression. So now outcome of interest is calcium, and we need to put the SLE back. All right, and you now. Don't really have to put these covariate, but it's always good uh, as long as sample size allow. It's good to put from a stronger prognosis factor. So if you think age is the strongest prognosis factor, better to include age. Okay. So we know we can include up to two or three variables, maybe two, because we had twenty or so event. Um, so let's run the analysis. Okay, so as you see now, um, propensity score is not in the equation, but we weight it with inverse of propensity score. Okay, so that's how propensity score is contributing to this analysis. So after we adjust confounding, potential confounding through inverse propensity score weighting, and adjusted odds ratio become 10.352. Okay, so this is how we conduct inverse propensity score weighting.